In the world of Cyberpunk 2077, when we imagine Netrunner builds, we often picture a young, tech-savvy hacker, a figure adept in the art of digital manipulation and typically favoring smart weapons for their advanced technological capabilities. While this archetype is common and well-recognized, it only begins to explore the vast potential within Cyberpunk's rich and multifaceted universe, a universe celebrated for its depth and breadth, encouraging players to push beyond the conventional and experiment with an array of unique imaginative builds. Embracing this spirit, the build we introduce today goes beyond these established norms, venturing into a realm filled with innovation and tactical sophistication and redefining the limits of what a Netrunner can be. Enter the Toxic Netrunner, a departure from your typical Netrunner. This build evolves the standard hacker archetype into something far more lethal. Picture a mercenary equipped not just with unparalleled hacking skills capable of breaching the most secure systems, but also armed with a weapon that stands at the forefront of combat innovation. A smart assault rifle, uniquely modified to fire bullets that not only track targets but are also laced with toxic chemicals. This weapon transcends the traditional concept of a firearm. It's a masterpiece of deadly ingenuity, designed to send bullets that navigate around obstacles and inflict catastrophic chemical damage upon impact. Our Toxic Netrunner build offers a profound reimagining of the Netrunner's role. This is not just about strategic cunning. It's a fusion of high-level digital infiltration with a physically dominating combat style. Each engagement showcases a blend of cyber expertise and tactical finesse, manifesting as devastating toxic destruction. The Toxic Netrunner is more than a build. It's a declaration of power in Night City's neon-lit chaos. Designed for those adept in both cyberspace and urban warfare, it melds elite hacking with extraordinary weaponry. Join us as we delve into this build, a testament to the innovative and dominant spirit of Cyberpunk 2077. Transitioning from the overarching concept of the toxic Netrunner, we now turn our attention to the centerpiece of this build, the Militech Hercules 3 AX. This weapon is far more than just a tool of destruction. It stands as a testament to versatility, masterfully amalgamating the functionalities of an assault rifle with a grenade launcher. Integral to our innovative approach, the Hercules 3 AX features two distinct operational modes, each suited for specific combat scenarios. In ADS mode, the Hercules 3 AX elevates itself from an ordinary assault rifle to a smart weapon of unparalleled capabilities. After a brief period of target acquisition, it releases smart bullets that are a marvel of modern warfare. These bullets demonstrate remarkable ingenuity, capable of curving around obstacles to ensure no target can evade their reach. This advanced targeting system revolutionizes long-range combat, allowing for tactically sound and precision-driven eliminations. The versatility of the Hercules 3 AX is further exemplified when switched to hipfire. In this mode, it adopts the characteristics of a grenade launcher, launching explosive rounds in an arc trajectory. This requires strategic foresight, as the player must anticipate the landing point of these explosive rounds. The increased rate of fire in this mode makes it an exceptionally powerful tool in close quarters combat, delivering extensive AOE damage. However, the defining feature of the Hercules 3 AX lies in its ammunition. Each round is a deadly combination of technological advancement and chemical warfare. The toxic bullets don't just cause immediate damage, they have a lingering effect. Neutralizing an enemy affected by these rounds triggers an acidic explosion, creating a hazardous zone and extending the toxic impact to nearby adversaries. This adds a metaphorically toxic element to the weapon's nature. It's as overpoweringly effective in gameplay as the term is used in pop culture. The exceptional capabilities of the Hercules 3 AX ammunition underscore our build's overarching philosophy. You might be starting to get a picture of how our toxic Netrunner build is shaping up. In the upcoming sections on attributes and cyberware, our focus will be on selecting options that synergize perfectly with our key weapon, the Militech Hercules 3 AX. Our strategy is straightforward. Turn this gun into an overpoweringly effective weapon. By carefully choosing perks and cyberware that complement each other, we aim to layer synergies, boosting the Hercules to unparalleled levels of power. Before we delve into those details, let's briefly discuss secondary weapons that complement this build. While the Hercules 3 AX is a powerhouse in its own right, your choice of additional weapons largely depends on personal preference. 
Personally, I've included two smart submachine guns in my arsenal, the Yin Long and the Shingen Mark V. I chose these SMGs not just for their inherent strength, but also because they benefit from the same assault rifle and SMG perks that enhance our Hercules, as well as from smart weapon perks. This creates a synergistic effect, allowing us to maximize our combat effectiveness without needing to diversify our perk investments excessively. Additionally, I've opted for the monowire as my melee weapon of choice. Its compatibility with the quick hack perk tree further aligns with our build's focus strategy, enabling us to concentrate our investments efficiently. As a final note before moving on, I want to remind everyone that guides on acquiring these weapons, along with a detailed attributes and perks template for this build, will be provided in the video description below, as always. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. Moving on to the attributes and perks, let's start by overviewing the key attributes for our Toxic Netrunner build. As expected for a Netrunner using smart weapons, intelligence is paramount and will be maxed out first. This attribute is crucial as it hosts not only our quick hacks but also smart weapon perks, including an overclock perk that synergistically enhances both quick hacks and smart weapon abilities. Next, as a staple in all my builds, I always maximize reflexes for the air dash ability. This enhances the movement capabilities in Phantom Liberty, allowing for aggressive dynamic combat maneuvers and efficient traversal. Reflexes transform the gameplay experience, enabling swift zooming in and out of enemy lines and cover. Specific to this build as well, we are interested in the assault rifle and SMG perks in this attribute tree to further enhance our already powerful smart weapons, pushing them to even higher levels of performance. Additionally, we'll also be maxing out the technical attribute, this is standard for our builds, as it significantly boosts both passive and active cyberware abilities, making it a powerful addition to any setup. With these attributes maximized, any remaining points will be allocated to body for extra health, although we won't invest in body-related perks. Our survivability will mainly be bolstered through intelligence-based perks, which we'll discuss later. Now let's dive into specific perks, focusing on intelligence, the most crucial attribute for this build. The intelligence tree is divided into three parts, smart weapon perks on the right, quick hacks on the left, and overclock perks in the middle. Since our build specializes in smart weapons, particularly the Hercules 3 AX, all smart weapon perks are essential. These perks significantly enhance the weapon's capabilities. Larger targeting reticle, faster lock-on, multi-targeting, improved accuracy, and increased target acquisition, all translating to higher DPS. On the left side, the Quick Hacks tree, select perks that suit your playstyle. These generally increase RAM capacity and recovery, enhance Quick Hack potency, and allow for more frequent and simultaneous Quick Hacks. Perks that increase damage against enemies with active Quick Hack queues are particularly useful, especially in boss fights. While our build doesn't primarily focus on Quick Hacks, they are instrumental in initiating combat, offering substantial bonuses and synergizing with the middle tree. I usually start a fight with a ping quick hack to reveal enemies, followed by a control hack like weapon glitch and a contagion combat quick hack. This combination sets up enemies for easy elimination with our smart weapon. The magic really happens in the middle part of the intelligence tree, where smart weapons and quick hacks converge, enhancing our survivability. This section not only makes our quick hacks deadlier and improves RAM recovery, but also enables an overclock mode, elevating both quick hacks and smart weapons to extraordinary levels. In this mode, quick hacks become more potent, and their frequent use boosts RAM recovery, which in turn enhances health regeneration. Activating overclock mode also temporarily increases health, allowing for aggressive play. Our smart weapons gain instantaneous target acquisition, and deal more damage to quick-hacked targets. The layers of synergy in this build are complex, but incredibly fun and powerful in combat, transforming the traditional stealthy net runner into an aggressive, toxic, poison bullet-wielding weapon specialist. Now that we've covered the most crucial attribute for our toxic net runner build, let's turn our attention to the secondary attributes that complement this setup. As a disclaimer, this build is quite perk-heavy, mainly because it requires investment in two specific weapon perks, smart weapon and assault weapon perks. In the early game, you'll face numerous trade-offs depending on your preferences. Options include weapon or damage enhancements,
quick hack capabilities, survivability, cyberware, or mobility. In the end game, this becomes less of an issue as you'll have accumulated enough perk points. The order in which you prioritize these attributes can be tailored to your playstyle throughout the game. Firstly, let's talk about reflexes. This attribute branch is vital for two reasons. The first is movement skills, which include the air dash ability. As mentioned before, while optional, I find air dash indispensable in any build, not just for the fun it adds to traversing Night City, but also for the tactical advantages it offers in combat. This ability, combined with our Hercules rifle's potent short-range damage, allows for aggressive playstyles, enabling you to swiftly close in on enemies and unleash havoc. As alluded to previously, the second column of interest in the Reflexes tree is the Assault Rifle and SMG perks. These are critical since they enhance both our primary Hercules rifle and any smart SMGs we choose to carry. These perks generally boost damage output or improve weapon handling, making our smart guns even more effective and lethal. The legendary skill here that increases damage after consecutive shots is particularly devastating against tougher enemies or bosses. Lastly, let's focus on the technical attribute. Our primary emphasis will be on the cyberware perks in the middle of the tree. Given this build's perk-heavy nature, prioritizing is key. The Edge Runner perk comes highly recommended due to its direct enhancements to our build. While other perks, such as those extending cyberware duration or reducing cooldowns, are optional. Their impact is less significant as they don't directly boost our cyberdeck or overclock ability, which are central to this build. This wraps up the attribute and perk selection for our build. The attributes and perks we've chosen synergize to form a lethal combination, perfectly embodying the toxic Netrunner theme. For any additional attribute points, consider allocating them to body to gain extra health, which I've found beneficial for added survivability in-game. Lastly, in terms of relics, we're particularly focused on the vulnerability analytics relics, as they complement our build's emphasis on gunplay and enhance our ability to exploit enemy weaknesses making the toxic Netrunner even more formidable. All right, let's move on to the final piece of our toxic Netrunner build, Cyberware. As with any build, it's crucial that your Cyberware choices complement your playstyle, enhancing your primary attributes. For those with the Chipware Connoisseur perk, consider selecting Cyberware traits that boost chemical, damage over time, or explosive damage whenever you upgrade a piece. This approach will synergize best with our primary weapon and the Contagion Quick Hack, maximizing the build's effectiveness. The most important cyberware in this build is, of course, the Cyberdeck. We are opting for the Militech Paraline MK-4. This choice is deliberate, as our build emphasizes smart weapons rather than quick hacks. The Paraline MK-4, unique in its synergy with smart weapons, boosts smart weapon damage with additional electrical damage when overclock is active, perfect for our build. With so many ways to deal elemental damage like chemical, electric, and fire in this build, we might as well rename it the Toxic Electric Fire Net Runner build. Other cyberware I recommend includes the Axolotl for reducing the cooldown of our crucial overclock ability. For arms, the Monowire, particularly its toxic variant, is a great addition, though not essential. It's beneficial for mid-range combat, but can be skipped if you prefer to focus on smart weapon or assault rifle perks. I equipped the Smart Link Cyberware for its secondary effects, even though our primary weapon already has this functionality. The Micro Generator is another excellent choice, adding AoE electric shock damage after reloading, thereby increasing our DPS. In the circulatory system, I prefer the Blood Pump for health regeneration and the Heal on Kill for added survivability. The Kerenzikov in the nervous system offers time-slowing abilities, providing another tactical advantage, though it's more of a luxury than a necessity. As we conclude our journey with the toxic Netrunner, it becomes clear that this build is not just powerful, it's a revolution in the streets of Night City. The toxic Netrunner is more than just a formidable character. It's a symbol of the limitless possibilities within the world of Cyberpunk 2077. Our primary weapon, the Hercules 3 AX, is the heart of this revolution. Mastering its unique mechanics, turns you into a conductor of chaos, orchestrating destruction with every round fired. And let's not forget the smart SMGs, swift and ruthless, they ensure no enemy stands in your way. 
But this build is more than just its weapons. It's a tactical dance of digital and physical warfare, where every grenade thrown, every hack executed, paints a picture of tactical brilliance. The battlefield is your canvas, and with each move, you create a masterpiece of mayhem. The toxic Netrunner isn't just a build, it's a statement, a declaration of power and ingenuity in a city that thrives on both. So step into the shoes of the toxic Netrunner and take Night City by storm. Leave your mark as a master of both cyberspace and urban combat. And remember, in the neon-lit chaos of this world, you're not just playing a game, you're rewriting the rules. Embrace this build and watch as Night City bows to your unmatched power. If this guide has empowered you in your conquest of Night City, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share your experiences and suggestions in the comments below. Until next time, fellow Netrunners, make your mark in the major leagues and let the streets of Night City echo with tales of your prowess. Cheers.